Uh, we have the, the 2024 Akron Women's Soccer Media Day here with head coach Jen Simonetti. Coach, can you just talk a little bit how preseason has gone so far? Yeah, absolutely. We've had a great preseason. We've been doing two training sessions a day, trying to do some teaching and technical work in the morning and some imp implementation in the afternoon. Um, trying to blend the nine new players in with our returning players and just create team cohesion and team unity going into the season. Talking about the cohesion, just kind of, you've had two exhibition games so far in advance of your season opener against Iona. How have the team come together through those games? It's been really good. It was great to start with Dayton, who will be a top A-10 contender, so we knew the competition would be good. We had a great 30 minutes, starting fresh, starters versus starters, and then blended in some new players to see where we were and what learning curves we still needed to reach. Um, so we competed and then fixed some things going into St. Bonaventure and had a really good result coming out of that, just looking to continue building going into non-conference on Thursday. Is there any lessons or facts that you've kind of learned about your team going through the spring, coming through the fall campaign now that just kind of surprised you in a good way? It's been really positive that our returning players really understand exactly what we're trying to accomplish and how we're trying to accomplish it. And now it's not just us coaching our team, it's them coaching each other. And I think that makes it actually a better and easier learning curve for our new players because they're getting the players next to them, showing them the ins and outs of what the expectations are and how the programs run and, and what we're trying to accomplish on the field. So we now have 20 coaches instead of three coaches and they're all bought into the same mentality and the same outcomes. You talked about the cohesion of the leadership. Talk up a little bit about the captains in Katie Stafford and Morgan Pence. They have developed into great leaders in our program. I think we've spent a lot of time with our team as a whole, as well as individuals, and just bringing out their individual leadership characteristics. I think that they've not only gained the trust of their teammates in terms of doing the right things in the moments, even when it's hard, but also the trust of our coaching staff to know that they're on board with what we're trying to do and they're gonna work as hard as possible to accomplish the things that we know we're capable of this year. So they're a great blend of accountability and hard work with the softer side of inclusion and empathy with our players. Talk a little bit about key to your team. May, maybe this year the return of P Penny and goal. Just what does that mean for your team this year? I think it's like getting a free recruit. You know, we had high expectations last year and we lost her early on to injury, which I think was a um, mentally deflating for the team a little bit, just knowing that she'd put in a ton of work in her past year and a half to really come in strong last year. So it's just great to have her back. I think it's created a lot of competition within the goalkeeper position. It gives more seniority and experience to our team in general, especially in training sessions. And it means that everybody has to get better on any given day. So she's been a great rebirth, I guess you should, could say, coming back into the season this year. She's also shown just a recommitment to becoming the best player possible. So she's really pushing herself and everybody around her to be better. I guess just talk a little bit about the infusion of newcomers with the returners and kind of how they have stuck out. I think it's actually been a pretty seamless transition knowing that we recruited these players with the understanding of what role they would need to play their first year, the identity of our team, how we want to play, so they are definitely equipped to fit in seamlessly. The learning curve at the college level is always the same. It's a little bit faster, a little bit more intense, a lot more demanding than any club or high school schedule is, so that's the learning curve that we're mostly going through. And then just the details and the discipline of what their role looks like in our program, but so far they fit in seamlessly for our culture, they're working incredibly hard, they're learning and growing every single day, and they're already putting in good minutes for us, so it's going to be a great year. For Zips fans out there, what might be your message for them to help support this, this team to success this season? I think that this program has gone through different circumstances, different circumstances and hardships, but they've also shown so much growth and determination to become a Zips program that you can all be proud of. So I think they've earned and deserve your support and that they're going to show you great things on the field this year. We're looking for definitely wins in the non-conference season, but a birth to that MAC tournament this year.